The election season is in full swing, and for many students on campus, this will be their first time voting in a general election. At a meeting on August 20th, the Nacogdoches County Commissioner's Court approved a list of polling locations that did not include any on campus. They denied an earlier proposal to have a polling location on the second floor of the student center. Some, like Republican Chairman Bradley Reynolds, approved this decision because of the inconvenience, while others, like faculty member Lee Ann West, said that it was a way to disenfranchise students. So what do our students think? I had the opportunity of speaking with student body president and vice president Nathan Lyons and Uchenna Njoku to get their take on the situation. Any recommendations about how I can be better, like modified to accommodate everyone? Yeah, um, well that's a good concern to bring up mobility, right? Because we want to make sure that foremost we're ADA accessible, um, obviously, and second off, um, it's convenient, right? Um, so they have added the curbside voter option. Um, so uh, you can, if you'd like, pull into a curbside voting parking space and you don't have to leave your car. Um, SFA is pretty ADA compliant. Mm -hmm. And so it's not, those people who need it can definitely um, get here. Um, I believe the campus has been built in a way that accommodates everybody. So do you think this could be a form of voter suppression? Um, I don't believe that that's the commissioner's court's intention. Um, whether it is an actuality, I'm not an expert um, on voting, to be honest. Um, so I don't think I could answer that. But I don't think it's helping students vote. I know mm -hmm. that. I know that I'm not sure if I would call it voter suppression, but I know that it's not helping them vote. What can be done to encourage student voters in the future? I believe that having things like a polling location on campus is a pretty big encouragement for student voters because a lot of us have like not very flexible schedules and also lack of transportation. So those are like barriers that students kind of face and it, it discourages them from voting. I think it's SGA's responsibility to encourage students to vote as a student government association. You know, we say we're for the students, by the students. We say we're the voice of the student body. Well, I think it's also our responsibility. And I wrote it in a, uh, my executive order, too. I don't know if you've seen that for the Get Out the Vote Commission. Mm -hmm. It's SGA's current initiative um, to get students registered to vote. Um, I think that that would also encourage students to vote is for SGA to constantly be, whether that's tabling soon, what we're, which is what we're going to be doing. Um, or whether that's on social media, encouraging students to get registered to vote. Because if they're registered to vote in NAC, there's a polling location on campus, it's all that much easier for them to vote. Don't forget to vote in the upcoming election. Voting will open on November 5th at the University Baptist Church. For those who cannot walk there, the Student Government Association will be helping out by busing people to the polls. This is Maya Elijah, reporting for The Final.